came upon this rather interesting device. It's a USB clock fan with temperature. I saw somebody else had this, and so I had to find one for myself because, well, I do a few things impulsively. So I got it, as evidenced by the package, here. This plugs into a USB socket, USB-A, and provides information on the fan, uh, notably time and temperature. And I thought this to be just very awesome, actually. I mean, it's it's really it's just a series of LEDs along the fan blade here, and you'll see when I turn it on. There's green, red, and blue LEDs, and as it spins, it turns them on and off to create an image. Really, in a way, not all that different than how a CRT works, sort of. You know, basically, it blasts it on a on a uh, cathode ray tube screen, old tube ty type monitor, and blasts them on the front of a uh, you know, on the front of the screen. So I will show you how this thing works. So let's say you're working hard on well something. Who knows what? You're working hard, and you you know it's a you're getting all warm and hot and bothered. Just plug this guy in here, and you point it at you, and then you turn it on. And then it lights up and tells you the time. Uh, it looks about accurate still. So it's six, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 6.34, and the, man, I should have waited to do this, shouldn't I? And it's 68 degrees here, or 20 degrees Celsius. See, if you don't know your centigrade or your Fahrenheit, just wait a little bit and it'll rotate on you. And it's a, it's a good looking display. Actually, it looks better in, in real life, but this isn't too bad either. And this, so this, uh, this cord or the, the rod, what do you want to call this? The adjustable cylindrical sweep here. It can can point pretty much wherever you want, and there's only one control on it, which is here on the bottom. That's what turns it on and off. But if you hold it, that's where you can actually start setting the time. So you hold it, and then your minute will start flashing, and just kind of, kind of adjust it. Or you can hold it down, and it'll go much faster. And that's your only adjustment. So to make it right, you have to bring it all the way around. So this is only a 12 hour clock, not a 24 hour clock, obviously. It doesn't tell you AM or PM. It just tells you a little more. One more hour. It just tells you like an, like an old clock. It's, you know, it was just one of those battery operated clocks or whatever. And it does seem to keep the time for a while. I was going to take this apart. But then I decided it does not look serviceable and I don't want to break it because I like it a lot. So should this thing fail, I may then take it apart. But until that point, there you go. It's not terribly loud either. But it does tell you the time and keeps you from getting motion sickness while sitting in your cubicle or at a table. Now something else, I wanted to see how much energy this thing consumes. So I got this little nifty device here that allows me to measure the volt like voltages and power draw and so forth. So right now it's got 5.13 volts at the USB. Which I think that's correct. So now I want to see how much power is actually drawn on this. So off, it's not pulling anything, obviously. It's a little bit of a drop in voltage, so it's 5.08, 5.07 volts. Looks like 0.3 amps is what it's drawing. So not very much, but if you are concerned about your uh, battery life on your machine, that could be an issue. 
But I have another solution. Maybe instead of a laptop. Can use something like this. Pop on one of these little uh, adapters. So you can have USB. Then, this one's, oh, this one's a little bit upside down. And there you go. You're cooled and kept informed on the time and temperature. Brilliant. Thanks for watching.